Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me this photograph and they had a couple of questions. One, what would be the best tool? They think they, they're just starting in Corel and they think the Bezier tool. I've never been a big fan of it, especially doing something like this. I've had a lot better luck using the three-point curve line. So that was their first question and I'm just gonna show that or what I could do with it. And then they wanted to know how they could join after they draw this, how can they join the blue and the red lines and make it one line like I have here? And if we look at this, left click, right click, it is one single object. So I draw everything in hairline. So I'm just gonna start, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit and I'm gonna get my three point curve line and I'm gonna go from there to there. I'm gonna let go of the left, left mouse button and then I'm gonna hold down the control button and it makes a perfect, kind of a perfect shape. Go from that node down to that node, let go of the mouse button then hold down the control button. And I'm not too worried about it right now getting it perfect, but I'm just dragging from one node to the other node and then using the control button. The control button's gonna help me make a more perfect shape than I could by hand. Then I'm gonna go like straight here and I'm gonna just double click on the my left mouse button. And that then the uh, it kind of sets the three point curve line. Then make sure you go to that node and then maybe go across to here, holding down the control button. And you see it's not perfect because we maybe went too far. So we'll just back up and maybe go from here to here and just draw that line then go across here and then hold down the control button. And then go maybe across here and then one more, go that in and just draw it like that. Now we've drawn that one, now let's add the blue. Same thing, I'm gonna go across here, hold down the control button and get a perfect arch. Go down here, hold down the control button, get a perfect arch. Go all the way over to here, Hold down the control button, get a perfect arch. Or what I call a perfect arch, it'll be more even, depending where you put it in the middle. And then one more, and just put a little bit of a arch to it, and you're done. So now let's take his picture and move it out of the way. So it doesn't look too good. Doesn't look uh, very good at all. I think I did better on the first one. But then you would just take this shape tool and just bring that up to there. Maybe delete this node and see what happens, and I don't like that. So let's get out the shape smoothing tool. If you have X7 or above, you get the smoothing tool. Set it on something, you know, about that size and just, it kind of smooths out your, your drawing, your hand. You need to make sure you click on it to, see, to where you can see some nodes. So I'm gonna click on it and see, I can see the nodes now. So it's working. I've got mine set on 100% speed. We need to put a little bit of, take some of this roughness out right here. See, I just took out that rough corner and this gentleman I'm trying to help is actually a really an artist uh, making belt buckles uh, here in Texas. I'm gonna go back to the shape tool I'm gonna maybe try to get rid of that node. And then I can grab this node and maybe add a little straight line back to it. That looks pretty good. Now, let's say this is good enough. Uh, these two arches are actually too close together. So you could take your shape tool and maybe pull this one in a little bit. And then you could always adjust. And don't forget, you can right click and turn it into a cusp. And then when you turn it into a cusp, It'll just move one handle. And you can see the difference in the cusp. My cusp is square. I've got it set on pretty small. My cusp is square. The curve is on like a diamond shape. Well, that's actually part of the other cusp. But here we haven't done anything and we have both handles. Well, they're all acting like cusp right now. And let's bring this out a little bit more. Maybe delete a node. When you delete a node, you can get a probably a better evener flow. So let's say that's good enough. <clears throat> now there's really no way to join them, 
But if we make this something other than a hairline about the thickness of this line, and that'll actually show off some of your uh, imperfections here, you know, like right there. Let's try deleting that node. You get a better curvature. Now let's take it all and go to object and convert the outline to an object. Then we go over here and left click, no fill, right click outline, and you see these two objects. Well, there's a couple of ways you could do it. We're gonna try to weld it first and see what happens. Sometimes the weld tool doesn't work perfectly, but it did in this case. We might have a little bit of something still left over from an open node, and that can be fixed by going like right there, taking the virtual segment delete key and deleting that. I do not like this sharp corner, but what we need to do first is take the Smart Fill tool, fill that in, move our, and what that did, it sealed all my nodes. Now I can, I can actually do it filled in. I don't like the sharpness of that. We can take the smoothing tool and smooth that out. And also you could have made these, I can't really tell by the, the drawing if he wants the, we could have made the lines rounded corners and I think it would look better and I'll just <clears throat> go go for that real quick. Let's draw a three point curve line, put a little curve to it. And now let's go to, well, let's just use this, click on this or hit F12 on your keyboard and let's make it that, I think it was 10, eight points and right here, rounded end caps. Then when you convert it to an object, and left click, right click, your lines are round now and going to make it look a little bit, to me, a little bit better. But you have to do that uh, when you're, before you're drawing. So I think that looks pretty cool and looks like kind of like the drawing itself. And I hope that helped that gentleman. Thank you for watching.